Hello friends, I welcome you all for the introduction of a very promising technology of next generation networks. Today we will extend concept of software defined radio to a cognitive radio and further to game theory analogy. At the end of this session, we will try to find out answer of why game theory for cognitive radio. Outline of this session is as follows. Introduction, Spectrum Sharing Games, Components of Cognitive Games, Game Models, Summary and at the end References. If we carefully study the Spectrum Utilization Diagram available by FCC, we can note following points. There is heavy use of Spectrum in the higher and lower frequency bands whereas spectrum is sparsely used or there is a medium use in the middle range which concludes that spectrum utilization in the 0 to 6 gigahertz band varies from 15 to 80 percent. This also indicates that the spectrum is overutilized at the same time it is underutilized. These spectrum bands can be shared by licensed that is primary users and unlicensed that is secondary users. Thus this forms a game. This spectrum sharing can be in underlay mode or overlay mode. In figure, we can see that spectrum sharing games, how they can be used to implement cognitive radio. Cellular operators are for example licensed bands and unlicensed band devices are Wi-Fi operators and heterogeneous wireless systems. Cognitive radio will try to combine the both unlicensed band devices and licensed band devices, thus forming the spectrum sharing games. Main components of cognitive game are observe, orient, decide and act. The arguments of utility function can be related to observe phase. Orient is analogous to goals of the utility function. Decide resembles to decision rules or the action sets and act the very important last phase is the necessary resources for the devices are allocated. Thus, game theory can be well utilized for modeling and analysis of the cognitive radio. The main game models which are popularly used are cooperative game model and non-cooperative game model. Development of model is based on non-cooperative game model if each player maximizes her own utility function whereas in cooperative game model players cooperate with each other in bargain and coalitional mode to reach towards the maximum benefit. To summarize, cognitive radio is a promising solution for underutilization of overall frequency spectrum. Secondly, as the users are trying to acquire spectrum, this is analogous to a game and hence 
game theory can be effectively used in cognitive radio. Please go through the references for the details of the concepts we have discussed. Friends, happy learning. Thank you.